next question, how to deal with, I guess, foreign earned income exclusion for a foreign entity owned by U.S. citizens living abroad? Not sure what you mean uh, by the foreign income for foreign entity. So the foreign earned income exclusion, just to explain what it is, it is a, a tax a planning opportunity offered by Section 911 of the U.S. Tax Code, which says that if a U.S. person, a U.S. person as defined uh, typically by Section 7701, so it's either a U.S. citizen or a green card holder or someone subject to substantial presence who by, def- uh, by nature of spending a lot of time in the U.S., they're a U.S. person for tax purposes, right? If it is that they are working abroad, then as uh, they're able to leverage this section 911, which says that the first, and it moves with inflation. So this year in 2021, as we're doing 2020 tax returns, it is 107, it'll go up next year, right? So you have 107,000 of your, your income that will be sheltered from US taxes, right? Now you can qualify for this amazing benefit in one of two ways. One physical presence test, and everyone gets that by counting your days on U.S. soil and don't spend more than 30 days on U.S. soil, then you will be able to enjoy the foreign and income exclusion. The second way, so that's objective and that is quantitative. The second way is subjective and qualitative. What do I mean by that? It means that we're talking about the bona fide residence test. So in order to qualify under this, you need to basically your center of life or your heart, your, 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 situ- your personal situation must have legitimately changed from the U.S. and other jurisdiction. And there are certain questions asked in Form 2555 to evidence this. Like, where's your family? Under what visa are you in that foreign jurisdiction? More importantly, are you paying taxes in another jurisdiction? So anyway, so either one of those two bases, you can qualify for the foreign earned income exclusion as a person. So your individual, your earned income, not your passive income, not your investment income, but your earned income will be sheltered uh, from the IRS legally using the foreign earned income exclusion. Now, this is separate from your company. The company that you own and you control, that, that's separate. Uh, in law, a company is a separate legal person from you with rights and responsibilities of its own. Your company can fire you, as Steve Jobs found out with Apple, right? So your company can fire you. It's a separate person in law. Now, the company does not qualify for the fire and earned income exclusion. You do. So I, I hope that clarifies. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment below. Our books and upcoming events are available at htj.txt. Email us at help at htj.txt to engage us to advise on international tax or business matters.